What's up, you guys? Welcome to our LA home. Okay, now it obviously looks. A little different than our other LA home that you guys saw for quite some time that we called Villa Ho Inn, and that's because it's a new spot. I know you guys are so sick of us moving, but crazy enough, when we knew that we were having Ever, we had made plans to really create our life and our home life and work life and family life in New York. So we put all this time and energy into our beautiful New York home because we thought that was going to be home base. And then I got a call to join E News, and that actually brought us back to the West Coast. Crazy enough, we actually already had somebody renting Villa Houghton because we thought we'd be in New York full time. And if I'm being honest, we kind of needed more space now with Ever and also having a family member travel back and forth with us to help us do work and take care of our baby boy. So my mom is with us a lot of the time and so is my aunt. So we actually needed an extra bedroom. And we ended up falling in love with this place here in Beverly Hills. And okay, if you're wondering what sold us, it was The View. So we have here our formal room that just completely looks out to this incredible view of the city of Beverly Hills. We can have barbecues here, we can enjoy the pool time, but I really, really wanted to enjoy that view, especially at night, oh my God, you just see the twinkling lights. And I was like, we can't put a TV in this room. So we actually made it our formal living room where it's just a sitting room. It's a space where Israel can come and play the piano. He literally comes and has like writing sessions where his musical friends just come and sit down and they have ideas. And that was a really difficult decision to make. Comment below if you think it is a good thing to have a sitting room or just any room in your house that intentionally does not have a television. You're like, why would we look at the TV when you got this view? It's amazing, absolutely amazing. And there's some mornings where I literally just grab my coffee or my tea and I just sit down here and I pray, I you know, read a devotional, I literally just have a moment. And it's actually also the space where we put our Christmas tree. It went here in this corner from, it almost touched the ceiling. We had a really, really tall, tall, tall Christmas tree and we would just sit here and like have the fireplace on, listening to Christmas music and it was absolutely magical. Okay, literally the fact that I can just walk under this in six inch heels is just a testament to the fact that I am really short. Also fun fact, we have the same chairs in our New York house. And I think it's the only thing that kind of ties the two houses together because they're just so different, even stylistically. This is definitely more of a modern art deco vibe. And we love that. We love that we get to have just two completely different styles and different vibes in our Beverly Hills home and in our Chateau Houghton, New York home. This is our formal living room. And I'm gonna take you guys on into our open concept kitchen, which is literally just right on over here. Come with me. So, like always before we move into a home, obviously with Lana being based here in Los Angeles, she's our scout. She's the one that knows our taste better than anyone and so she's just like, let me go see what I find. And so like she'll do these little videos and I'm not gonna lie, I really from the videos couldn't get a feel for like what this layout was and it was a little bit interesting. And then of course we had to call in Mariah to doll the house up and really, really make this house our home. So we actually ordered a lot of these things from Amazon and they were ordered before I even got here. So we ordered all these things, moved into the house, and then we were like, 
going through Amazon boxes of all these little nooks, like this little marble tray and these black cutting boards. And okay, you might be asking what the heck is going on here. This section right here is what I called, hi, I have a husband. Now, comment below if your man loves kitchen gadgets and needs to have them all stacked in the open like this. I hate this. This is my least favorite thing about our home, but I'm not gonna front. They're pretty cool gadgets. Iz has always been obsessed with Sonic Ice. I didn't grow up with the Sonic. We don't have them in the East Coast. If we do, comment below where they are because I have never seen one in the New York area. So this is his Pebble Ice Machine. Then of course, the Nespresso. All the pods underneath. And then this is a new gadget that was actually a Christmas gift from Lana to Israel and we since have gifted it to like three other people that we know that have fallen in love with it. So what the Bartesian is, is it's pretty much a Nespresso that has pods for cocktails and you put whatever kind of top shelf liquor you love, whatever whiskey you love, tequila, I believe this side says vodka, gin, or rum, and then you literally pull a pot out, like this is the Cupid's arrow, there's a penicillin, a margarita. What else do we have in here? An old fashioned, a cosmopolitan. You pop that in and it literally makes the cocktail for you. It is a robot bartender for lack of a better definition. And literally you just press it, creates the cocktail for you, tells you exactly what to do. It tells you what kind of glass you should use and it'll say like add ice. And voila, you have a cocktail. That was not an ad, this is not sponsored. But it's definitely a favorite. When we have parties here, or just like have people over, they love the Bartesian. So that's why we have all these gadgets on this side. Then in here, we have our laundry room, washer and dryer. Can you see that? And it also leads to the garage, just a washer and dryer in here. Now I'm gonna take you guys to what is across from the kitchen and past the stairs, and it is our dining room. So I really loved this open floor plan, but again, I couldn't quite figure it out from like Lana's video. So when I first got here, I was like, oh, okay, this is, this is pretty cool. We have the kitchen on that side, and then right across the way is our little dining room. And as you can see, we have a new addition, which is Ever's high chair. The boy is eating. He has a little chair inside of a chair over there. And you might recognize some of these pieces that stayed in Los Angeles in our storage space. Um, and this was actually the table in our office in our other Beverly Hills home. And now it is the dining table. We switched up the chairs. And I love it. I love that we've got these windows that completely wrap around, great views. You can see what's happening in the pool. I love that when we have pool parties, literally people are in the pool, they're chilling and eating indoor and outdoor. I, that is one of the things that I love about Los Angeles. It's the indoor outdoor feels in the homes. Okay, so now this is where the house gets a little interesting. We have our powder room right here, but it's actually a full bathroom, and it's right here. So this is our powder room, but it's technically a full bathroom with a shower and everything because it is directly across from what I call the family room, and technically it would be considered Ever's bedroom, but my baby boy sleeps with me. So we do co-sleeping and so he's always upstairs with us. But during the day, if I need to lay down with him or take a nap with him in the middle of the day, this is the room that we go in. But it's also great because when we have family visit us, we decided to put bunk beds in here just so that we can have more people hanging in this room. Across the way is literally our family room. It's Ever's room. 
This is one of my favorite places because it's just a very tranquil room. I love that it's got neutral vibes going on, but at the same time, you have, again, this indoor-outdoor play area. We've got bubbles going. He's got a bouncer out there. I love that. Some of my other favorite things in here is the fact that, like, we literally ordered this on Amazon and it came overnight. One of my favorite things in this room would be this little personal touch in the corner. It actually was a gift from one of my besties, Julissa Bermudez. Um, she went to the Dominican Republic and brought this back forever. And I just think it is absolutely adorable and a perfect little touch in his bedroom. Listen, comment below if you are a mom that gets got with these Instagram ads because when they started telling me that my son could have a Bentley tricycle and his dad drives a Bentley, I was like, oh no, we're gonna need this. And so I ordered this online. So Ever literally has a little Bentley tricycle that we absolutely love. And it matches his dad's black Bentley. So that's his little bougie touch in his little ghetto bedroom. But again, I am all about family, so when I think about, you know, my sister coming to visit me, Jet and Bo staying here, if Mariah comes over, we've got this great family room. Also, guys, you're probably gonna see the cameraman because we've got these mirrors here. Hi, Kyle. I'm out, actually. <laughs> you're out? Yeah. Wow, impressive. But this is Ever's closet that we've been trying to clean out because he's been growing out of so much of his clothes. I mean, like, how adorable is this little hat? But he's growing so quickly that we literally have been making donation boxes um, of all the stuff that he's grown out of and that he can't wear anymore. So he still can fit into these little things, these little summer rompers, and I can't wait to put him in some of these that he hasn't worn yet. So we've still got a cute, a cute few things to, to throw the little man in, but he is just growing so, so fast. So we have his little closet here. I mean, there's been so many nights that I'm like, I'm just gonna go put Ever to sleep just for a second. It's earlier in the day. And like, literally, I will knock out at 6.30 with him. And then like, we'll wake up and it's like, what time is it? It's two o'clock in the morning. And then he's up with me all night. So it's been a little bit of a struggle with our bi-coastal living, figuring out his nap times and sleeping, but a lot of it happens right here. This room gets so much sunlight. He's got a TV. We just chill in here, knock out, nap time, diaper changes. Those things happen here. And again, it's got an indoor-outdoor vibe. This has a sliding door here that leads right out to this little outdoor space and the pool and barbecue area. Then from here, I'll take you to wherever really loves to hang out which is the area that I swore would never exist. I was that mom that was like, listen, we are going to have designated play areas. I will not have tons of colorful toys. And then this happened. So this is the area that we call the family room, which is where we actually watch TV, we just chill here. Like, I get on this sofa. It's also a, a damn, what is that called? Sofa bed. I forgot what those were called. Okay, I was very intentional about making sure that we had a sofa bed because, again, I like to host. I love for family to come into town and visit me. I'm constantly begging people, guys, I don't have family in LA. Come visit. So I made sure that we got a sofa bed. Lana has slept out here on certain nights. If, like, my mom is with the baby in her room, Ever's over here. And then we've got this amazing little playpen that I swore we would not have. But then I had a baby, and I don't care about things being neutral. He loves colorful blocks and toys, and it's great for his brain development. And so this is where he crawls around, he plays. He's now standing in the corner just being like, hey. And one of my favorite things to do is just to jump in there with him, and we can stay in here and play for hours. He's learning his colors in English and in Spanish, and we just have an absolute ball but -um -bum, in this ball pit. Okay, Mariah hooked this room up. I mean, literally she had 24 hours of being in LA. We were actually having some friends over and the home wasn't decorated and we're like, oh, we need help. We had ordered a bunch of stuff prior to, but it really just needed her touch. So we literally flew her in. 
She had an entire day of shopping. We're talking home goods, um, thrift shops, which is one of her favorite things to do is shop at thrift shops, uh, antique stores, and World Market was the other spot that she absolutely loved. And we ended up kind of pulling this room together. I love it. I think it's pretty chic and chill. There's not a lot going on in it, but um, it has, again, a lot of sunlight. Fun fact, we have a jacuzzi that you can see right there, but we've never been in it. So I loved the fact that this home had a jacuzzi. I was like, oh my God, that's so cool, especially during the winters, during Christmas. Like we can make a little hot toddy and go out there and enjoy the jacuzzi. As you can see by the leaves on the top of it, it has never been touched or opened, but I am gonna make sure that we might, we might have to enjoy that one of these summer evenings. Get in the jacuzzi. Right off of our family room is actually my mom's suite, which has a bedroom in it, a walk-in closet that you walk through, and then also her own bathroom and her own entrance with a little uh, spot for a car as well there. So there's like a single parking spot, another entrance, and all of that. And she's in there with Ever right now. I think he's taking a nap, but let's take a little peek. Okay, so this is my mom's room, and funny enough, you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? Say hello, Ooh. people. I'm normally out there in the living room and in the playpen. I'm in my walker going super, super fast, and I'll be running mommy's toes over with that walker, and it's so crazy, and it's so fun. But because we were filming this, I was like, Mom, can you take him for a second just so that we can get some B-roll shots of the space? And so he just came in here with my mom right now. Um, so this is her room. And it gets so much sunlight. Like, literally, there's no lights on in here. But I love that this place has all of these skylights. His coche is in here. His little, another little playpen. If he takes a nap during the day, my mom needs to watch him. He's watching Atención, Atención. My mom has all her paperwork and things in here as well because she'd be handling my accounting and my son just said, move your face so I can see your earring, mommy. And so they're hanging out in here. There is a walk-in closet there, and then it leads into her bathroom and then her own um, entrance and her little one car situation. My mom has no license, so she has no one car. Hey, welcome to motherhood where we're trying to teach my son gentle, Gentle. He loves to tear my earrings off. He loves to rip my lashes off. Cariño. You wanna go with Lela? You wanna go with Lela? Amor, cariño. Okay, guys. Okay. For the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you around, and then literally, I'm taking these heels off and jumping in the ball pit with Ever. Yay! Mom's about to take Ever on a walk outside and just hang out a little bit, and I'm gonna take you guys upstairs. So see how this kind of just wraps around? Again, I was like, it's a little bit of an interesting format, but I'm here for it. And then we are back to this amazing open space, and now I'll take you guys up to our primary suite. And here is our primary suite. We really were feeling like minimal vibes when we moved into this house. We really wanted just the view to be the focal point of the room. We actually got this crib forever because I thought, man, if he ever takes like a nap or something like that, which he used to when he was much smaller, but we even have to drop this because he would just climb and jump right out and that would be super dangerous. So he's never in here and at this point, it's kind of a catch all for his random toys and wipes that I might wanna reach for in the middle of the night or in the morning when he wakes up because we co-sleep right here in this bed. We've got bumpers and so I love that the three of us as a family sleep together. It's super special. It's something that I saw my sister do with her kids and we love it and it works for us. Comment below your thoughts on co-sleeping. Just curious, not gonna change my mind, but curious what your thoughts are. So I love this super open space. Then we have over here 
our closet that at this point is absolutely insane. I'll open it just so that you guys can kind of get the vibes, but I have so much stuff in here. It's absolutely insane. Boxes on boxes, Sandro, Prada, Versace, Chanel. Out of control, this is pretty much insane. From the bedroom, we have this little sitting area here and then it comes right into our bathroom, which I absolutely love because it's filled with so much sunlight. Again, wraparound glass so you can see out to the incredible view. And as you can see, there's something tying our New York home to our LA home and that would be this green marble, which I don't know what's going on. I have a real love for green marble lately. I have it in my office fireplace, which is so chic to me. And so when I saw it here, I was like, okay, green marble, we're having a moment. So it has this jacuzzi here, me and Ever take baths in here. He's got all kinds of little seats so that he can bathe with me. It's like our thing, we bathe together in the morning. We have sleepy bath time at night. We usually shower in the morning, just like a cute rinse. Uh, for the day and then I'll give him like a really good bath time with like bubbles and like relaxation vibes so that he can have a good restful sleep. In here we have a little pocket toilet situation and then there's even a balcony that looks over the pool area and our backyard. You can see the bubbles rising from Ever's room downstairs and it's been raining a lot in LA. It's actually one of the first sunny days that we've had. So there's lots of leaves everywhere. We kind of need a little, little leaf blower situation. But that is our upstairs area. I'm actually gonna take you guys outside since you can see it so perfectly from up here. You might as well get up close and personal. Come on downstairs. Oh, and I almost forgot to talk about this little seating area that I absolutely love. Again, this is a Mariah special. She kind of put this little section together. Cause we were like, what do we do with this space outside of our closet? And it's a really big walk-in closet. So like, we were like, what should we do here? And I think it's a perfect seating area. I do a lot of my Zoom calls from here. Um, and it gets like a peaceful little quiet spot just to sit in the morning, either read a devotional, our Bibles. I love it, take a phone call. This is where you'll find me. So let's head to the pool. So my mom and Ever are out here just chilling. And we have shockingly had amazing weather here in LA, finally, because literally for the entire year, it's just been rain nonstop. But finally, we were able to have friends over and do a little barbecue and just hang out by the pool. Um, again, safety first, you guys, obviously. We do not have a gate on the pool yet, um, but we definitely will be getting one. We're with Ever all day long, eagle eyes. I don't know why this is, I swear it wasn't intentional, but every house we've ever lived in, in Los Angeles, has a lemon tree. So literally we have this over here. We're trying to get it repotted um, into a concrete base, because if you guys know me, I'm like, hi, this uh, very blue indigo base is not really my vibes. This is a Meyer lemon tree and Meyer lemons for some reason are super sweet and they actually get so big and juicy, more like grapefruit looking or like an orange. Like even one day I was like, is this an orange tree or a lemon tree? I was confused for a second, but it is Meyer lemons. And that's probably one of my favorite things about Los Angeles is just like being able to have great weather all year round, except for this year. But I think we actually needed some of that rain because LA right now is super, super green, and the summer seems to be warming up. Fingers crossed.
guys, so that is our LA home. It's been a little crazy being bi-coastal, but I'm just so grateful that we have a home in general. So just to be able to be here and enjoy this time with my baby boy, being able to have an incredible support team, my mom, my family, it has been amazing. So yeah, next tour will definitely have to be New York, guys. We're talking two years in the making, more than that at this point, and it's definitely my favorite place on earth, but I hope that you guys enjoyed checking out where we are Monday through Thursday while I work at E! News, and then on Thursday nights we get on the red eye and we are heading home to Westchester, which is definitely the next house tour. Love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click the notification button so that you know every time there is a new episode of Love Always, Adrian.